The existence of hemp can be found throughout recorded history. Food, medicine, elixir, textile, hemp is thought by some to be the first crop domesticated by our ancestors. In ancient India, it was blended with milk and spices into a drink believed to aid digestion, relieve fever, and ease dysentery. Some thought it made the body more alert, calling it the nectar of the gods. Beginning in the mid-1800s, hemp oil was a natural part of the American pharmacopoeia, prescribed for everything from cramps to chronic seizures. After the 1930s, taxes made hemp too expensive to grow, and farmers mostly abandoned the crop. Hemp became more scarce. Cannabinoids all but disappeared from the food chain, and Americans became deficient in cannabinoids. Cannabidiol is a naturally occurring chemical compound found in plants like echinacea, flax, and of course hemp. In this form, it's referred to as a phytocannabinoid. But plants aren't the only source. Cannabinoids also exist in the human body and can even be found in breast milk. Some researchers contend they play a critical role in early childhood development. Regardless of the source, cannabinoids work in conjunction with the body's endocannabinoid system, also known as the ECS. The ECS is a network of cannabinoid receptors found in the mammalian brain and abdominal organs. This system plays a key role in regulating many natural functions, including mood, sleep, and appetite. Present from even the earliest stages of fetal development, the ECS predominantly consists of endocannabinoid receptors located in both the central and peripheral nervous systems. CB1 receptors in the central nervous system combine with the brain's nerve cells to help regulate the body's biochemistry. Both endocannabinoids and phytocannabinoids bind to these receptor points to control the passage of proteins between cells. CB2 receptors in the peripheral nervous system are mostly found on white blood cells, in the tonsils, and in the spleen. Cannabinoids that bind to these sites help modulate the immune system response to disease and injury. Research has shown that cannabidiol has the potential to reduce inflammation and protect critical cells against oxidation. However, with a lack of cannabidiol in the food supply and the tendency for endogenous cannabinoids to degrade within the human body, most people are deficient in these important compounds. This absence of cannabinoids has led researchers to establish a condition known as clinical endocannabinoid deficiency syndrome. A diet rich in phytocannabinoids, such as high concentration hemp oils and hemp seeds, may offset this deficiency. Like many, I was skeptical. I had never even heard of the endocannabinoid system or phytocannabinoids and what they could do. I was reluctant to hope. I had this irrational fear I might jeopardize the whole thing by getting too excited. But nothing else was working for this little girl, and I was determined to help her. It only took a few days, but the difference was undeniable. After a few weeks, I slowly became more hopeful. Have you considered the complexities of your body's response to everyday activities? Take something simple, like running. Everyone has their theory about what makes a healthy body. What makes one lifestyle better than another? Some of them may be true. Others, maybe not. But we know that phytocannabinoids play an essential role in helping our bodies maintain an internal state of balance. When our endocannabinoid systems are nourished, we sleep better, we're focused, and our moods become more stable. Our bodies were built for cannabinoids. We have an entire system designed to receive cannabidiol for the purposes of regulating the body's internal systems. Currently, Canalife Sciences is developing a cannabinoid-based treatment as an antioxidant and neuroprotectant for the brain. With a license from the National Institutes of Health, 
Canna Life Sciences is creating cannabinoid therapies for chronic traumatic encephalopathy and hepatic encephalopathy. In Amsterdam, Axon Biotechnologies is changing the game when it comes to pain management. Treatments using newly discovered types of cannabinoids are in development for a variety of neurological disorders.